Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Guys, in this video, I will show you how to do advanced projection method for new compositing. So without wasting any time, let's get started. <laughs> Guys, right now we're in Nuke and as you can see, this image has right now a smooth depth, some cool perspective movement and all this TV is going out of this camera and it's just amazing depth. So basically this is a simple JPEG. We have to go through with three interesting software. So let me come with that. So the first one is Photoshop. Over there we'll be doing some layer correction, some layer separation and some cleanups for this final output. And the next one will be our any kind of 3D softwares like Max, Maya, Blender or anything which you will be prefer. Over there we'll do some cool 3D modeling. It's just a basic 3D model for projection and finally this nuke for composite or project it as well. So let's jump into Photoshop. Guys right now we're in Photoshop and this is CC 2020. Over there this is uh, our basic image which is a less depth in fact no depth only we have our basic image. Now what you have to do you have to separate with your foreground and background. So in this image, this TV, so let's mark with this color so that you can understand it clearly. So let me tell you in detail. So let's take a new layer and let's tell you which are count in foreground. So these are the foregrounds objects which you have to separate it properly with this main pillar. So whatever you have to do, you have to cut out all these three, uh, sorry, all these uh, pillars and TV with separate layer which will be count as our foreground and then what I have to do, I'll show you. So let's delete this layer. Okay. So now what I did, I just turn off this. I separated all these parts in a single single layers. See, so these are the all pillars are right now in single single layers. Uh, so after that, when you have separated all these layers, the basic steps are right now done. Now what you have to do, you have to clean up this FG parts like TV, like this pillars and all like if there is no pillars, no TV, then how it will look like. So I have done already a cleanup, which is a very, very basic cleanup. I have done this only for this tutorial purpose. So don't judge me on that. I have done some basic cleanups. You can see there are so many patches, but I done uh, it's very roughly. And uh, after that, when you're happy with your cleanup, if you turn on all these layers, which is your uh, foreground layers, it will not show like that it's cleaned up in a very bad way because there are very less fixes you can see. But in your case, you should focus on your cleanup because the cleanup is the main thing in this kind of output. Okay, so when you're happy with this, you can save all these layers in a single simple PNG image, but I prefer to be saved it in a PSD format because whenever we need our anything change Changes should be happening in Photoshop. You can change it in Photoshop in any time and it will automatically update in Nuke as well. Okay, so after when you've done all the steps, you have to go to your 3D software, which is any kind of software like 3ds Max or Maya or something like that. For this, I'm choosing 3ds Max. So let's jump to 3ds Max. So guys, right now in 3ds Max and over there, you can see I already made some 3D models like this, which is exactly a very, very basic model. There is no detailing here. I done this TV, the pillars all are in separate, separate mode. So what I exactly did, these pillars and this one in a single layer, this TV in a separate layer, and this is a basic background, which is also in a separate layer. So these are my three basic steps and this background also. Now, how you can make this kind of set by you matching the perspective that I'll show you. So for that, what you have to do, you just have to reset everything. When you drag and drop, the option will be showing here like a bitmap file was dropped into a viewport. Apply this file as, so press OK. And when you press OK, it will come here like this. So after that, you have to set your resolution, which is exactly same like your photo resolution, which is my uh, like 3000 and uh, let's turn off this and then it 2000, which is our image resolution. Sorry, it's turned on. Yeah, now it's fine. Now after that, from here perspective, and show frame safe. Now this is our basic setup done. After that, what you have to do, just select this camera button and from here, you just select a free camera and go to like front view, click here to create a free camera. Why I'm taking free camera, no physical camera, target camera, because only the free camera, if you use, it can export properly. In fact, you can match your perspective also. So when you import your camera, something like that, 
how to match the perspective you can simply zoom and match it it like this this is the way but i prefer to do it very fast i'll show you how just go to the settings option over there you can see the perspective match option is there just click here after that you can see some show vanishing lines click here as well and then simply press c to go to the camera view when you go to the camera view will not see anything because you have to match your camera so these are the z axis this is x and this is y so simply start matching with your axis something like that and now you can see your grid is right now in a proper position now obviously you have to manage your grid in a really good way so that the all the perspectives are should be in good now to understand that the grid is proper or not you just go to any any you just have to take any object like box i'm taking this box and see this is in a good perspective and just simply you have to match it and after that just simply start building your models for so when everything will be done i will import all my uh, previous so it will look like this so i already done this entire model and when you everything done you just have to export with your camera so for that what you have to do press p to go to perspective now see this is our basic 3d models which is look like this just amazing and after that uh, you have to select all of these 3d models okay so just click here and select all this and from file export export selected and you have to export it in this abc format and then just rename it like metro and simply save it when you save it everything you just have to go to your nuke so guys right now we're in nuke and as you can see these are my basic script so let's open it so this is my psd file so let's start with the scratch so delete everything but we need this psd file so leave this psd file and delete all the stuffs something like that so now we have our this psd file which is this one so let's show you how you can do your final steps which is a projection so this psd file has already cleaned up everything but it's included all those layers separately so just double click here and you have to click this breakout layers so press this breakout layers so now all the layers are right now breaked out now we have multiple layers here so let me show you this layers in detail so press this crop and press one so this is my basic image which is already in my last layer so i don't need that so simply just make this backdrop to separate it because this will count as our basic or final bg which will not need it for any time just save it for safety purpose after that whatever we have to do just have to release all this connection and you have to connect it to directly here so this is my basic steps because these are the things you have to do it very clearly because all the connections will come from this actually so let's start connecting like this now see this should be disabled and after that let's see which one is this one so this is exactly our main clean plate which will be project so this is separate it and after that release this connection as well and let's see which one is this one this is our basic pillars see this is my basic pillar and this one this one and this one now see all the pillars are right now in same positions and this is my final pillars oh, sorry this is my tv now what you have to do you just have to simply connect all this to this final image something like that yep so now what happened all the connections are coming from this image it's everything will be uh, coming as like a separate separate connection so to make it very easy you can use your separate separate png files to make all this uh, stuffs very clear after that you have to project right so let's go with my first this basic image and for projection as you all know we need our project 3d node by pressing tab take a project 3d and simply connect it to here okay so now you have to import our mesh or geo so for that just pressing tab you can take a right read geo so press like this and after that you can see it's a file location so from click here and you have to choose your this metro abc format which you already exported from max just press open when you press open this option will be popped up it's showing like you have to import this all in a single node or uh, create parent as separate separate nodes so what you have to do just click 
something like that all like click everything and click this create parents at separate nodes something like that so now what happened we have our camera and we have our read geo node now just for the information just connect this camera to here and now this will be connected to here and now guys let me show you something more like until here these are my pillars and until here this is my tv so what happened we have to separate these two and release this merge node so this is my basic three steps like this is my first one this is my second one and this is my third one okay so uh, just click here and connect to this and press one so now when you see to your 3d view you can see this image is exactly project on this three dimensional mesh, which you already imported from 3D software. See, it's just amazing. And you can go inside it in any time you can play around. So before that, just double click here. You just have to make some precise thing. What do you have to do? Just go to this uh, scenograph over there. You can see that all options are turned on, but we need only this basic background. So what do you have to do? You just have to disable everything. So just click here and disable all over there. You can turn on only the your main file, which is our this one So just turn on this. So this will count as your main. See, now we don't have any pillars here. Only the BG is right now uh, projected on this mesh. Okay, so now we have to project our pillars separately. Now, why we are doing this option, I'll show you. Just connect with this main BG. When you connect with your main BG, what exactly happened? Just make it all on. And when you go to the camera view, now see it's all looking same, right? But when you move camera inside a little bit, now see this is my main camera options something like that and uh, when you like turn your camera you can see your main thing will be also projected on background so that's why we have to separate your this foreground with your backgrounds i hope you understand right now that why we cut out all this single single layers on in, in photoshop uh, by using cleanups and all so finally you have to connect all this so just make control Z and now it's fine. Okay, so now we have to add your pillars as well. So for make it pillars, you have to take another project 3D and another read your node. So simply copy this two, copy and paste it like this and camera should go here and the image pipe will go to this final pillars because all the pillars are right now in a single image or this all connection will come to here. So this is my single image pipe. So now click here. Now see over there, you can not see that uh, there is no pillars, right? Because we have this option turned on like main. So what you have to do, you have to turn on this pillars. So just click this pillars on. So right now we aren't our this pillars. So now, right now only pillar is here and whatever will you project, it will project on this pillars only. But uh, before doing merge, we have to project our this TV as well. Okay, so uh, just for that, you have to take another this control C and control V and then simply press this one. And again, you have to connect this camera pipe to here. Okay, after that, when you're happy all this, just press one here and now simply click here, go to this one and turn off these pillars and turn on this uh, TV. Okay something like that now see this tv is also projected on a single separate layer and now we have our main bg which is uh, this one let's turn on which is this one we have our pillar separate and we have our tv separate see so these are the three steps which you have to follow every time okay after that when you're happy all this just rename it properly so let's rename it like a main bg this is like pillars and uh, let's rename it like a TV. Okay, this is fine. And I'm always doing all the stuffs really precise way. Now, if you notice, this is our main pipe. This is our pillars and this is our TV, right? But we don't have any background here. So how you can add your background here? Now to create a BG, you can simply take a card, which is like card 3D or something like that. So press tab and take a card. You can do it in 3D software as well and import final file. Just press this card and after that, make it scaled up to in a higher value. Let's scale it. Yeah, this is fine. And same way, you have to project your background. So this is this will count as my background. First, take a project 3D like single control C and control V and then press this camera 
to this one and the image pipe will go to here and this one sorry this one we don't need here and then just connect it to here now if i see this image is exactly projected on this card now we have to make this card in a z depth to make it as a background so let's move it something like that and then just increase it to like this and after that just go to your camera view so this is my camera view and you see this all looks completely fine now you have to merge all this together so how you can merge it let me show you so just take a, a merge geo because all these are in geometry so that's why you have to merge it now we have to merge it in a really precise way so first of all this one will go here so one then just release it and connect it to here and then just two then three and obviously this one is our fourth one so connect it to like this so now all the layers are right now merged here now if you notice this is your final projection which is exactly looks amazing and now you can go really inside and outside something like that you can move around to like play anything anything so in this way you can use this kind of things now how you can render and all so this is not the end so first of all if you all know that for show it in a 2d view we have to take our scan line renderer so press tab and take a scan line renderer and uh, simply connect with this and take this object to this one and after that we need a single more camera which will movable camera like which will be our render camera this camera is a projection camera so just take this camera control c control v and just connect it to here now there's a one bug is here we don't use this camera to this read from file which is turned off this one because we don't need that and after that go to the projection option you can see the near option is complete zero so what i have to do just have to make it default like 0 0.1 so now you can see this is your camera which is a movable camera so let's increase the camera size to that it can show like this and after that when you press like uh, from here let's go to this let's rename it to like render cam so that you can understand it properly and after that you have to go to your render cam something like that and uh, simply make this camera button on and let's see how its animation will look like so let's animate it a little bit so go to the first frame now see it's already animated in 80 frames from max because this is no animation but it's already animated so for that what you have to do just right click anywhere and simply click no animations on no corpse just press ok so no animations is there now go to the first frame and right click set key set key and go to the last frame and let's animate it now see the camera movement and all is just amazing and let's uh, move inside something like that and uh, let's move it uh, let's it's completely up to you how much you want to move and something so when you play you can see this camera animations are look just amazing and by using this way you can exactly project anything anything in any surface so guys i hope i can teach you that how you can do this kind of uh, cool three-dimensional projection method in fact this advanced projection method for this you know, need to go through with a few different steps and i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and if yes then guys please click a like button and also you can click dislike as well it's not a big deal i need the engagement uh, with vfx worlds and thank you for love and support and before leaving what you have to do you just have to follow us on on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below so just go and follow us because over there i updated so many things and guys i will see you very soon on my new tutorial on this channel vfx world so till then have fun stay healthy and don't forget to subscribe and keep rocking vfx world